September 15th. First time I've had a chance to get in the woods, go squirrel hunting. Uh, it's been crazy at work, a lot of overtime. Plus it's been so hot that I had no desire to sit out here when it was 100 degrees. So it's cooled down a little bit today. We're gonna see if we get anything moving this afternoon. Hopefully we can get a couple. Well, camera wasn't on, unfortunately, but we got the first one. I thought I had the camera on, but I was uh, looking through the frame, but I must not have hit the on button. So we got one. We're going to... Got one more. See if we maybe get one more. All right, we're gonna strip these tails so that way we can preserve them and use them for uh, tying flies. First thing you wanna do is just get your knife in behind there and strip it down. Just cut it all the way down the end. Once you get about that far, you just kind of cut out the tail. You can do it when it's attached to the body, but I like pulling it apart just because that's how I skin them. And then once you start pulling it down, get it down there to where you're at, cut a ring right there. All the way around it and grab the tail and hold it right there and you can just zip the tail out <clears throat> once the tails out then you just take your knife get it back in there and just finish cutting her down all right we're gonna finish
of stripping out these tails. Um, and then I'm going to prep them. Take a razor and like I said, like before, just keep cutting down. Just get them opened up because we're going to have to preserve them with uh, borax. If you're careful or not, I was, and you can usually just zip them out, but that knife I had was not the best. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're just going to lay these out and tack them down so we can open up that, that meat there a little bit, or that skin. Try to stretch it without tearing anything. You don't need a lot of nails. Just enough to keep it open. We'll come all the way down here to the tip. You can use cardboard and just uh, like sewing uh, thumbnails or tacks or whatever you want. It don't matter. Pretty easy. You can see that channel right through there. That's the, the tail. So you just salt that or not salt it's borax and uh, you let that set probably 24 to 48 hours then clean it off and put fresh on there because it'll suck it sucks that moisture out but then it'll hold that moisture on there so by cleaning it off and putting another another piece on it uh, helps it preserve it better and then once it's done you'll have a piece and a rod or whatever then you can pull hairs off for tying flies or hair jigs I'm planning on this winter making a bunch of crappie jigs out of them. I'm going to bleach the hair color on some of these and uh, I'm going to bleach the hair color and then try to try to dye it like pink and green and make hair jigs. So hopefully that works out good and if it does maybe I'll make a video showing them. But definitely you can make bucktail spinners or you know whatever you want i'm gonna try to speaking of bucktail i'm gonna try to save a couple deer tails this year too and do that as well so all right thanks for watching if you enjoyed it like and subscribe and we'll make a video later